to improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.
You see this every time that you play. In fact, you experience it sometimes when you play, and that is this sort of inability to get through the golf ball. And I was asked this question, Michael, what do I do when I struggle getting through the golf ball? By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends about what we've got going on here. It happens to all of us. So how do we get through the ball when we need to get through? Because we always want to get through it. But there are certain times when pressure is high where we struggle with getting through the ball. So here's what I want you to think about. First of all, why is getting through the golf ball so important? Well, the reason that that, um, you're actually making a swing is to take the ball and move it in a direction. That's obvious. But it also has to go a specific distance. So it doesn't just have to go towards our target. With an iron, it has to go a specific distance. And if I'm struggling to get through the ball and I come down and I stop in here, it might go straight. But that particular shot only went about 110 yards because we stop at the ball. And you see some people even do that swing where they kind of stop in here like this and then they kind of fake this follow through. We got to get through the ball. It's essential for consistency. It's essential for predictability so that when you pull that iron out of the bag, we want to know, well, yeah, we can hit it straight, but we also need to know how far it's going to go. That's why you hit a six iron versus versus hitting a a nine iron because it has to go a specific distance. What I want you to do is I want you to realize that this is like a, uh, like a train, okay? So you've got an engine, you've got a caboose. The club head's the caboose. What's the engine? What's going to take that caboose and get it to go all the way through the shot and into a finish? Well, the engine is the lead shoulder. That lead shoulder, when you start down, I know everybody's talking about the, the, the swing in a sequence is a ground-up thing. Yeah, it is, but no... The, the, the actual engine is coming out of your lead shoulder. And what you want to get a feeling of when you're swinging is this is leading this. So when you come into here and you go with one arm, you go there. You will not, if you make a one-arm swing with the lead arm, you, won't, you don't stop right there. You'll, it, will, it will swing right through. What creates that? This shoulder moving away from the golf ball. So if we go down the line, imagine, you know what? Actually, let's do it this way. I'll take an alignment stick and I put the alignment stick on the ground. My left shoulder is going to get to here. What I'm going to do now to get the engine to move that caboose, I'm going to get this to go that way. So it's just going to go boom. And when it goes over there, all of a sudden, The trail shoulder moves, the trail hip moves, everything moves, and it carries it. So what what you do is you take a backswing, let go of this arm, and then drive that engine. And I promise you when you finish, you're going to end up with that club wrapped around your back. That's what's going to happen. Just like that. And just get a feel of it. And then when you get in here, imagine that you're taking your hand off. You're not going to do that, but just imagine you're going to take your hand off and get that shoulder to move. And all of a sudden, the club's just going to end up right back here. The ball's going to go straight, but what it's also going to do is it's going to have a predictable distance. Okay? So we get in here like this, set up away from the ball, put the trail hand on, here, now in your mind's eye, this shoulder, which is roughly over that alignment stick right there, if you go down that line again, yep, perfect. Now, we move it away. So here, move it away. I'm not talking about, I'm not in the rotate your body. I'm literally imagining that shoulder here and it's just going back that way. And when it goes back that way, it has to rotate because you're not gonna go here and then go like this. You won't pull back that way. What you're going to do is you're just going to turn it out of the way. But by moving, by getting your brain to think, move it away from that stick, you'll now all of a sudden drag the caboose. So we go here, up, right in here, and then just get it away. And all of a sudden, 
I finish, that golf club is right behind my back. And again, a very, very straight shot, but also to predictable distance. I'm not going at it as hard as I want to go at it, but those last two shots both went about the same distance. The first one went 153, the second one went 151 for 155. So they are literally about the exact same distance. Because when I'm moving here, I'm dragging that club head and it goes right through. Now, when the club gets dragged through, the face of the golf club is going to stay fairly square. When you decelerate, now all of a sudden, the toe is going to slow at a different time than the heel. The strike will be um, anything but center of the club face. And you might even get into the ground beforehand. Practice swing. Take it off. Move that shoulder away. It wraps around. Now you get in here like this, move the shoulder away, beautiful strike, solid hit. Let's try it again. And there's a rhythm to it. There's a patience that you need to have. So we get here like this, up. You literally are, are seeing that shoulder away from that stick, boom. And all of a sudden, that club's just right around your back. It's, it's unbelievable. You, when, you, when you try this for the first time, you're going to go, eh. And then you do it, you're going to go, wow. I just went through that without a problem. And then when you, when you, when you swing, what you're going to realize is the golf ball is the halfway point. What you're really trying to do is this is the start of a golf swing. This is the finish of a golf swing. So you're basically going from here to here but you're going this way and then this way. And so when you take the club back and you go here, now we gotta get all the way over there. That thing is the, the engine, boom. Wraps right around. And now we do the same thing. Wrap right around. And that one's gonna go 150. Now I can add a little bit of speed. Now I've got a little bit of confidence. Now I've got a little bit of trust. Now I know. Ooh, when I stand over this ball, you're feeling a little like the fairway starts to shrink. You go, man, I don't know. And then you, I got to hit this ball. No, you don't. What you got to do is you got to get through it. I played baseball. My coach always told me in left field, you got to throw the ball through the cutoff man, not to the cutoff man. It's exactly the same thing. The club has to go through the golf ball, not to the golf ball. So you wait, the way you get through is you take that lead shoulder and you get that thing away from that yellow stick right there. It's not a turn, it's just a move away. So here, and move away. And all of a sudden, I'm now springing that with a little bit more club head speed. And all of a sudden, I'm getting through the golf ball without a problem. And this is true with every club. Driver, six iron, sand wedge, everything in between. You're making sure when you get into that tight spot, that nervous moment, I don't know that I can get through. All you gotta do is just do this little drill. You literally stand over the ball with your club, both hands on it, go back, let go, and go through. Somebody says, what, what, what are you doing? Getting through the ball. I gotta get through this ball. It's a hard shot for me. I gotta get through this ball. Maybe it's the first tee. I gotta get through this ball. And then you get through it. And somebody says, wow, what a good swing. Where'd you learn that? Breed. Just tell them. Like and subscribe, let them know. Here you go, last one. So up there at the top, that shoulder is getting away. Let's move this thing with a little bit of speed now. Here we go. Right through. The distance that I'm trying for is 175. That ball almost hits that dot. That thing stays in the air. 176 yards, I love the shot. Do this and you will get through the ball every single time. You will have confidence because now you know, hey, if I gotta get through, I, got, I, I, I know how it's done. This is the engine right here, that lead shoulder. Make it the engine, and you're gonna get through every shot every time. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.